Your regularly scheduled remote content is uh, interrupted for a moment because I have to offer an official apology to the nuclear community at large. Over the past couple of days since the series started, I've been non-stop brigaded by what I can only describe as the pro-nuclear lobby in the Discord, complaining to me that I am, I am, I have some sort of political agenda, that I'm framing nuclear power in a negative way. Instead of correctly assuming that, you know, we just come from a series heavily based on nuclear and I plan to go back to another series heavily based on nuclear because the last series was terrible. Instead of correctly assuming that a colony running on solar and wind power exclusively will add for a, an additional level of challenge given the amount of land and the lack of ease that nuclear power provides, they've decided to complain at me. For the record, yes, I too, much like you smart people over in Discord, did science at the age of 12. I'm aware of the pan benefits and the power and also the drawbacks of nuclear energy. I understand that, okay? There's no political agenda. There's no a crazy conspiracy here. This is... I'm sorry to tell you this, a video game. And for the record as well, just in case there's any confusion, I am not pro-murder, I am not pro-slavery, I am not pro-imprisoning people, converting them to your ideology and letting them go free. I am not pro-turning people into a comfortable sofa. All I want to do is ride a turtle, ride a turtle and save people from themselves. But no good deed goes unpunished. So currently, lovely sweet boy Asimov is having a pretty terrible time. It's something to do with not harming humans. I think I mentioned that a couple of episodes ago. But it's not, it's not going super well. Now, I, I would argue we didn't actually really harm anyone. Someone in the comments correctly pointed out the Hippocratic Oath. Doctors can stab you with needles and steal your blood if it's for good. So this is, this is fine, okay? All we've done is anesthetize a few people. Now my plan for today, along with getting the sleepy gas vent, so that even then we're not anesthetizing people, we're not taking any action against them whatsoever, they're just gonna fall asleep, they'll wake up fed, converted, healed, and off to go and save the world. I think that at long last, after maybe we get advanced fabrication, Android Space Program. Along with the mechanoids producing waste, now sure those mechanoids are doing good, but they do still produce waste as a side effect here. There are a lot of animals, and there are a lot of stinky people out there without even realizing polluting the planet. We could freeze it. We can put it in a big container, sure. But there's a better idea. We're going to take all of that waste. We're going to take all of the things that we cannot recycle and we are going to blast it into space. And this is how we're going to get a lot of our resources too, right? Deep drilling, it's a means to an end, but it will still disturb insects. It's still going to cause problems for the planet eventually. Nothing says ecologically friendly more than androids being blasted into space to mine asteroids en masse. We actually might be able to make a start now, given that Asimov has calmed down. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> really, really good. Oh, great work. Let's put down some more essential buildings, right? We're going to need somewhere to build all of our various rocket ship parts. Ah! Ah! Why are we here, Asimov? Huh? Why are we here just to suffer? Stupid pacifist robots. We're never getting to space. We're, ne we're never going to get to space at this point. Recreation deprived, are we? Is it recreation or is it that you can't handle the heat, Asimov? That's probably why he's in the freezer. <laughs> I it was minus one outside. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, no, this this definitely isn't a trap. The Imperial Robotic Defense Force want to exchange scientific discoveries. How exciting. It's a highly respective, peaceful gathering. You're lying to me, aren't you? No, I'm not falling for that one, I'm afraid. Not that Asimov could attend anyway, given that he's too busy having an existential breakdown 24 hours a day. Okay, Asimov's back with us. Hello, Asimov. Why, pray tell, have I not just given Plato and Descartes the anesthetic rifles, given that they're effectively just toasters? They wouldn't be upset about it. Sure, they're still held to the laws of robotics. I'm not just going to give them a minigun and say, oh, it's fine. You know, it was, the, it was the, the vacuum cleaner that did it, not me. Got pretty all right shooting skill too, and they're not going to be upset that they harm someone. But I think there will be a mood loss for Asimov anyway, because the colony as a, as a unit harmed someone. Oh, that actually could work a lot better. Um, you can grab the concrete baby club, though. Love that Asimov. He's kind of like the perfect machine, right? Either working perfectly fine, happy to do so, or doesn't work at all. It's like Chinese Adobe Premiere. <laughs> Geothermal power. Well, that will inevitably come in handy when we need... Do we need power? It's generally how that works. More importantly, though, the Arco Helm of Conservation Intelligence. It is a very fancy legendary relic of our people. 40,000 market value. Holy crap. It gives all manner of actually kind of crazy bonuses, but there it is. It's a relic. Is it a little overpowered to be a relic? Yep. Can we defend ourselves in the event of total annihilation? Nope. It's all swings and roundabouts. You've got to give yourself something, right? Otherwise, we're just gonna we're just gonna lose. Putting streams everywhere, because I think streams will look lovely. You're probably thinking those are streams of salt water. No, no, no. This is a freshwater planet. I look forward to the angry letters from saltwater lobbyists complaining I have some sort of agenda. <laughs> no. Mineral Mineral Unit One has an addiction to ambrosia. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you moron! Why are you so hungry all the time? 
You stupid metal sheep. I don't think it'll have any side effects if we don't feed it. I mean, it's a, it's a robot sheep. I don't think we have to worry about it <laughs> going into withdrawal. I can't believe you've done this. So advanced fabrication, we are absolutely flying with in terms of research. That's what we've got queued up now. 1,370 points, but because we've got advanced components that we can reverse engineer, it's taken two seconds. Uh, you, you're just absolutely blowing it out of the part there, Asimov. As soon as we got this dealt with, and as soon as we get some more components after they were all stolen yesterday, we could actually get around to, oh, uh, I mean, we could get around to repairing the assembly casket, then we could build more androids. And then the tier one androids, I'm happy to blast off into space or do whatever it is you want to do with effectively walking toasters. Wow, you are actually going to finish that entirely with an advanced component. But I mean, that makes sense because that's what advanced fabrication is here for. Done create advanced components from standard components and other materials. I'll let you know when I find some. Okay, okay. Now that that excitement is out of the way, it's back, it's back on. Android space program. Uh, what is it? Transport pod, I think. I mean, I mean, a rocket is just a transport pod when you think about it. Please zoom in. A rocket is just a transport pod when you think about it. We've got a couple more robots in as a permanent space force. I can't believe we're already up to this point. We haven't got any means to defend ourselves, but rocket ships are totally fine. They're not going to get us on the moon, are they? Then after that point, we could maybe even upgrade space squad to have more mining-based stuff. That could be the one we give the drill arms to. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Oh, a mammoth. Hello. Um, join me. Join my database, big mama. 4.5% database completion. I wonder how long it'll be before they stop being sad about us having few scans. I presume when you get to like 100%, there'll be, be a massive mood boost. I just want to remove the negative for now. That'd be quite nice. Maybe the automated weapon is mineral unit one now that I think about it. It's going to eat all the raiders. What a lovely base. Let's throw down. So I think I noticed there were... Yeah, look at this. We got five... We got six? Six potential geothermal generators on the island. We don't need it right now because we're not really using much power, but that's... That's pretty good. Uh, let's take biofuel refining transport pods. I want like, um, I want like something boring like auto doors, to be honest. That'd be quite helpful. For the entrance, let's see if we can figure out a way. Well, I probably should replace all this wall with stone, I will admit. Let's see if I can figure out a way to throw down sleeping gas. Sleeping gas vent. This vent releases sleeping gas in the area around it. So we just, we can just throw that down. Oh, we don't have to like, maybe we have to fuel it with like herbal medicine or something. Because he was re re reverse engineering medicine to be able to research this in the first place. Thank you, Big Wiggly. And uh, we need sleeping gas canisters. Okay, fair enough. What do you think? Machining table, probably? Well, this seems like a good time to start on the workroom. Let's move the fabrication bench over here. That fits pretty well. Let's throw down the machining table. Maybe like a smeltery would be good so that we can actually do the recycling early on. You know what? We'll put that up here. Any sort of refinery, any kind of unskilled work type, stone cutting, a refinery smeltery we'll throw up in that room. I just love refining biofuel. Thank you, Asimov. How do we launch a rocket into space in, a, in an ecologically sensible way? You can get like infinite chem reactors. That might be the only way in this game to get chem fuel without... I, I mean, we, we could grow a shitload of crops harvest them but the problem is of course we're using seeds this time so this isn't that viable we get a shitload of crops we harvest them we we put them through a biofuel refinery turn it into chem fuel that way but we're still burning a load of chem fuel to get to space if what if we just jump really high i mean they are robots hello a gourmet chef named id 99193 so uh the last android loads of people were asking i had to go and double check myself because i had no idea the last android we rescued just walked away they were fully healed they said thanks they walked off uh, I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Maybe I had it set to release. Oh, no. Maybe. Um, either way, they were a prisoner, so I must have released them one way or another. Hello. Oh, you believe in the uh, undivided powers of chaos? That doesn't seem good. Oh, it's memes. Oh, they believe in memes. Okay, fine. Come here. Bear in mind, we don't have to rescue robots if we don't want to. If, if, if we're not interested in saving robots, we can leave them there to die with no consequence. But we do have charitable beliefs as part of the ideology. So, you know what? Go to prison. Go to prison. This is a tier two robot. Yeah, tier two android colonist. Cool. Uh, are your skills useful to us? Are you going to get me to space? Incapable of mining. Oh, not with that attitude. Cooking artistic. Artistic robot? I don't like that. All right, let's do it then. Convert. Let's redu reduce resistance and then recruit after. Perfect. God, here goes this shit again. The animals are going to have to go to prison uh, because to recharge the android. Oh, there's a bedside charger. We need components. <laughs> It's an unending cycle. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to reinstall that in there for a moment, okay? Uh, so that the android can actually be charged back up. But then the animals are going to go in there because they need charge too. No doubt that hungry friggin' sheep is going to hold the door open and let everybody escape. Um, 
Maybe we double door it? There. I feel safer already. Thank you, Big Wiggly. Oh, party in the prison. Okay, so machining table is done. That's good. Oh. Whoa, look at all the modules. Oh, these are for mechanoids. Can we install it to a mechanoid to make it faster? Can we install it to a mechanoid to make it capable of art? I wonder if we can also put them in the robots. I could always give it a go. Okay, we'll try that in a second. Resurrect it. What? Drone resurrect it. Oh, cool. So it's quite expensive, but does let us bring them back. And then I guess we'd have to restore the arms or the legs or whatever was blown off afterwards. Cool. Android resurrect kit. Now, bear in mind, a drone is the tier one, boys. Then the androids are the tier two, three, four, five, like uh, like Asimov. Look at all this useful stuff. Dart gun, uh, but we do need new training. EMP launcher could be really good for fighting mechs. And then we've got a field research analyzer kit. That lets him uh, leave the lab to go and look at stuff that's already out there, right? So reverse engineer that. I'm going to queue one of those up. I think that's a good idea. Um, repair stims. Holy crap. Okay, let's queue up so we've got like 20 of those. This is this is robot medicine after all. Tear gas launcher. Tasers. Ooh. Um, the anesthetic rifle also anesthetic. How are you spelling that? American way. An... Oh god, how would Americans spell it? Uh, an... Uh, an... An... Uh? <laughs> okay, there you are. Um, we need medicine for that, so we can't build that one. Uh, get me a taser then. Sure. Net gun. Fires a net which entangles the target. Yes, I'll take two of those as well. Jewel wield. We don't have jewel wield in this pack. But we could, though. <laughs> net gun in one hand, a taser in the other. Then, if we can, I'd like to always have an android kit resurrector in storage. Because chances are Asimov is the only one with the skill to be able to craft this. And if Asimov goes down, we'll probably need one in stockpile so that the other androids can wake him up. And then we'll do the same with these, too. I think this is pretty good. So the mechanical part pack is the thing that used to rebuild the arms. It's effectively a generic bionic for the drones. So I'd like to have, like, three of those. How many bits are you missing? Uh, one, two. Oh, okay. You know what? We'll stick with four. That seems safe. Oh, they're so menacing, aren't they? My man's out here looking to eat lamp. You can't eat lamp, mineral unit one. That's it. They need names, don't they? What have we got? We've got three tort units, a mineral unit, and a nutrition unit. Okay, this one's pretty perfect. Someone asked for the name Steak Butt Alive, and that couldn't be any more perfect. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good too. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Peanuts. Oh, that's so good. I'm so happy for you. For the tort units, I want Jester. Then we have Evo, which I think is quite nice for a robot tortoise. And German Hammer, which is not so nice for a robot tortoise. Oh my god, at long last. I never thought I'd see the day. Kick him out. Send him home. And we don't have to worry about getting any sort of human food. Three out of 25 of the disgruntled toxins. It will take us maybe 20 or 30 years at the rate we're going. How can you be a genie if you're a robot? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, they can't actually get any sort of uh, xenotype as a robot. This man right here is a goddamn liar. And I gave you an aquarium and everything. Yes. Now all we have to do is figure out the fuel issues. And my God, we are in space. And that was bloody close after we were robbed by the Empire yesterday. With a single chunk of compacted machinery left on the map, we were just able to build the fabrication bench. It wasn't the end of the world, admittedly. We could have taken some stuff apart, removed some of the lab things. Oh, my God. Convert two mech, sub, uh, mech components to a standard subcore. Convert five mech components to a high subcore. Basic subcore to mech component. This is, this is too many words. I can't think that far. Let's do 20 regular components, five advanced components, and then we'll just go from there. What do we want for the mechs? Our exoskeleton frame does give carry capacity move speed. Spacer bodysuit from Rimsonol gives a bunch of sharp stuff. Oh, that's cool. Spacesuit helmet. The question is, do the droids need spacesuits? Because they don't breathe. I suppose it's more protection against uh, the elements out there or the uh, lack of elements. Oh my God, we got like a trauma kit as well. We could retrofit all of these droids to have very specific work types and loadouts that make like medical droids and then we could slowly upgrade them from, from tier to tier. So start with our basic ones and go from there. Wow. Um... What do we want to do then? I think I need to experiment a little bit and see if androids can survive in space. I don't really want to waste five components. And of course, we need a hyperweave too on that if we can avoid it. So I'm just going to blast them up or, or we'll plan to blast them up without that and see if they can actually survive. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. But look, we've got to we've got to try and save what we can, right? It's all about conservation. Speaking of conservation, a collection of surprise for... Oh, compact weapon. We don't want that. There's no need for that. We've got a bunch of work sites, which, of course, we can't attack unless they are... Oh, unless they're, of course, robots. The roar of Barwook. I don't think those are robots. Disgruntled toxins. We could always turn up, anesthetize them, use the nets on them, something like that. And then... Oh, shit, that's a fair point. And then if you want to convert them faster, there's three people there that we could potentially capture and bring back. Field research analyzer kit done. Now, I think we equip that to you, and that is... Oh, 
Oh, both of these. I'm so sorry. Maybe I can try and bring you back one day. Um, where did you put that? Like, in the cabinet? So, if we equip that one, I think it allows them to, to go out there and, funnily enough, look at stuff that's set up rather than bringing it over to the workbench. So, things like other workbench they can uh, examine. And like hospital beds, for example. If you want to invent that, they can go look at a regular bed out there in the field to get some benefits. I think it also gives a, a speed bonus to that, too. Yeah, 55% research speed multiplier. The auto doors are pretty environmentally friendly when you think about it. They're not going to let so much heat out. They'll open and close a lot faster than regular doors, so you're wasting less time, or something like that. A mechanical farmer named ID, oh, it's another bloody robot, ID433. You already, oh wait, no, 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 you don't already believe in our ideology. You are, hello, what is this? Post Arcotechnics, that's frightening. Do you have the skills to get robots into space? You're very good at you're very good at violence, which isn't really what we need. 12 plus, though, is pretty nice. And the, the point is it's a tier 2 colonist, right? Asimov, very lonely right now. It's Asimov, Plato, Descartes, but Plato and Descartes are... They're just machines. They don't think. They can't talk. They don't socialize. They don't have recreation. Nice, friendly, wholesome tasers. This is going to make capturing people a lot easier. We're not going to have to run around screaming, flailing with our concrete club in the air. We've got a little bit of a resource problem right now because everything takes plastic, right? Robots take plastic, modules take plastic, repair kits, ev everything. So we've got to try and find a way to... I love that there's just a space station. Well, I can just send a space station up there. That's really cool. Uh, in the meantime, let's just throw down. <laughs> we've got a resource issue. Let's build a space station. No, I want to build a uh, trade... Co comms console. Oh, there's the comms console. Oh, it looks different. Summon Diabolus available. Right, of course, because that was all we needed. I I'm all right. I'm okay for the time being. I don't think I'm, I'm ready to fight that with our anesthetic rifle and two tasers. <laughs> Creepy animals. <laughs> Sleep gas. That's got to be here, right? Sleep gas canister. There we go. So we need uh, smoke leaf, chem fuel. Oh, shit. And herbal medicine. Fair enough. Well, let's make sure we've always got, I don't know, 20 of those. I think we do have some smoke leaf seeds. Yeah, there's some plants that's spawning on the map, and we've got some leaves left over. Let's get those. If I cut them before we're grown, do we get seeds from them, do you think? Let's test it. Officer, it's not what it looks like. I just need this to be able to knock out people harmlessly. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, uh, that might take a little while then. We could plant one of them, I guess. We could just plant one of them and then let that grow. Just defend it with our lives. Oh! Oh, I don't want this. Oh, shit. It's robots. It's robots. We can ignore it. Second law of robotics. We have to take orders from humans. That's a robot right there. You go right in the bin. Oh, my God. I, I mean, anything that we do get that tells us to build something, I guess we'll just build it on the land opposite the island. So this should be the Android Resurrector Kit, and that is our as a lovely safety net. I feel a little bit... A bit more comfortable now about running around flailing whenever we get enemies turning up. Especially given that Asimov was absolutely peppered yesterday. How are you looking? You can do a lot more. A few more components. I don't think we can... I don't think the treasury can bear this. Yeah, we're completely out of plastic now. That's it. Oh, this is so much nicer to manage. <laughs> we can just say get rid of everything that causes damage, right? War casket tear gas launcher. Huh. Well, that could be a hell of a way to take some prisoners without really risking much either. I don't think I'll get through a war casket in a hurry. Next up on the research, I'm thinking we go for mending? Maybe recycling? Maybe we go for all the eco-friendly stuff first, and then we go for the more complex stuff afterwards, like all of the all the robot upgrades or mechanoid related. Oh, 18 intellectual! Big brain time. Maybe we... I mean, look, components we can make as much as we like, right? Yeah, they're only steel. Why don't we get the ENIAC online? Because with steel and components, are basically just steel, right? We could throw in a bunch more geothermal generators and, and keep that thing running to act as a nice research boost. Yes. Yes. Good. And this is fine. This is, this is all above board. Very fine, environmentally friendly stuff. Still don't know how we're going to get the fuel for the rocket. What if, what if we build like... Uh... What if we build a load of hydroponics with sun lamps? If we power it all with this massive grid of geothermal generators we've gotten, we could put down a oh, oh, glass. We could put down a big old greenhouse, and then we just turn all of that into cam fuel, I suppose. That could work quite well. Okay. I feel like adding glass across the base overall will just make it feel a bit more ecologically friendly anyway, rather than these big old round marble buildings we've got everywhere. Asimov's been able to gain... Oh. They're a slave ship specialized on organs what they take they take people and hack them up oh god i feel like I, I feel like it's our duty i feel like it's our moral duty to buy those and use them to fix people who come to us like buy them from, yeah, but if we buy it from a slave ship you're just encouraging their trade i don't know i don't know but let's at least see if they've got any people we can free hello there um yeah no 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 no, no. let's save these people 
Shit, they've also got a lot of really useful stuff, but I, f I feel like it's morally questionable to be buying it from them. Uh, you want some gold? Oh, shit. What am I going to do here? Um, <laughs> oh, no. Sell the sub cores? We can always make more of those when we need them. Sell the resurrector kit. Okay, fine. We'll just have to craft another. Well, hang on. We can afford it without that. Okay, let's do... Let's just do that. Oh, God. All right, fine. You know what? That's okay. So, you're going to join as a colonist. Oh, it's the Fallen Empire that's selling them. This person going to join as a colonist. We'll have to use them to go out there and start an outpost for us or something. Because this is going to be a robot-only colony. And that's not because of, it's not because we're anti-human or anything like that. Quite the opposite. It's because this is not safe. People know we exist. They want to destroy us. If there are humans here, they're going to be... They're in a lot of danger. No! Quarter keys, don't do that. This is what I'm talking about. Humans are unlovable. The second they're here, they're already threatening that they're going to punish people. Right, so you are going to get emancipated. Actually, there's a ritual for that, isn't there? I think if we do that instead, we get a nice mood boost for it. I want to build around the hospital because I want to leave room for expansion on that one. I want to just put a building somewhere that's going to let us have ideology rituals. The problem is there's a bloody geothermal vent there. Um... So if I do something like that, that's fine. That is next to the next to the path in the entranceway. Hospital eventually. I mean, it's a pretty shit hospital right now. I'll be the first to admit. Eventually, we're gonna have to expand it out so we've got like a therapy room, a uh, room for building bionics, maybe even a dedicated surgery room too, rather than just a kind of generic beds next to one another hospital. Oh shit! Because we have an organic colonist, Imperial Robot Defense Force maintains a strict code of conduct against organic rights, which were violated. Elon Zuckerberg is determined to wipe out all organic intelligence. Until the offending colonists are eliminated, there will be no peace. Oh, God. This is why we can't have them, right? Because the robots want to kill the humans if they're alongside a robotic colony. And then the humans are going to try and turn up anyway and kill our robots. So this is like a very not safe place to be for these people. Um, okay. I mean, that's fine for the time being. We can't anesthetize robots. We could probably tase them, though, I guess. Why are you always here? Go and get a hobby or something, Drew Peanuts. I thought that was a... It just occurred to me what his name actually is. I thought that was a nice name to give to a sheep. A sheep obsessed with eating everything because it's got food in it. And then it occurred to me that its name is Drew Peanuts. I've also got a gourmet trader known as Quality Delivery. That's pretty convenient because we have, uh, let alone gourmet food, we have no food whatsoever. Let's see if we can buy some stuff. Uh... We'll buy some Galbrick. Oh my god. Wow, we got loads of that. That's just from a random dryad that wanted him, right? Um, lots of wood. They sell a load of animals. I mean, the chickens could be quite useful. Uh, food. I need food for people. Seeds. Pineapples. Oh, yes. Okay, give me some pineapples. Rice. That's really good. Bamboo. Gross Michael banana seeds. I don't know what that is. Mm -mm, my favorite food. Gourmet anti-bug gas cans. What kind of trader is this? You sell just a bunch of random shit by the looks of it. Okay, um, we'll take the stews, I suppose. Or at least we'll take what we can afford with the stew. Oh, so fancy. Oh, this room is barely going to get used. What a waste of time. Oh, and I've used all my bloody marble on it as well. Emancipation ritual. Oh, because we need a colony leader. Yeah, no, you're right. Begin restore environment. What does that do? They have fun. They're going to socialize. They get mood boost. Oh, heat wave and toxic fallout are gone. Wind turbine output will be increased. Oh, that's fun. Um, look, like we, we've got to put someone in charge. So Asimov can be head conservator. What a... <laughs> what a ritual! Wait, they can't attend? Oh, shit. Because they're just droids. So it's Asimov having a conversation with this random dude we're going to get rid of soon. Okay, well, that's good. Thank you, for, thank you for being there. Thank you for witnessing that. And now, in theory, we can say... Follos, you can go. Can I send you? No? Okay. I'd really just like to get rid of him somehow without banishing him. That doesn't seem very right. Nobody believed me when I said we were the good guys. But, I, I mean, getting rid of some of our very key resources to buy a person, to let them go free, I think that's undeniably a nice thing to do. Look at that. We've got Follos and we've got Cortiques. Welcome. Uh, you just join randomly then, right? I don't, I don't think they always get recruited. So hopefully these two I can now send off and start a colony of their own. We'll make a little safe haven maybe on the road adjacent. Oh, okay. We can't make it exactly next door, but we can set them up here, I think. Create outpost. Uh, and then basically whatever we can make. An encampment, a hunting outpost. That doesn't seem very ecologically friendly. Scavenging. They go up there and they recycle and send it to us. Ooh, that seems good. I like that a lot. 
We got a trading outpost too. I think that's I, I think that's perfectly fine. Tyrannosaurus Basin. All right, fine. There we go. The robots aren't going to hunt them. They're not going to hunt us. Everybody's happy. Mending is finished. Then after that, we've got a uh, glassworks. What do you mean disrespected? Oh, because you want some columns. Well, that doesn't seem very eco-friendly, does it? Very wasteful. What a, what a load of wasteful crap. And caravan animals. Hello. Tort units again. Why? <laughs> Hello. You got components. You got mechanical part packs. Hey, that's pretty good. Tort unit. Please surrender your goods. Please, please surrender your goods. Because, my God, I have not got... Hey, there you go. We haven't got much left. Hey, there we are. Grid excess of 16,000 watts. Now, what we need is the steel. <laughs> a ridiculous amount of steel. A ridiculous amount of components. We can build the ENIAC to speed things up. You know what? I don't think we need it that desperately quite yet. Nice. There we are. What's the bedding that takes... Uh... Oh, rock chunks. Oh, sweet. That's fine. Make glass. Let's do that until we've got loads and loads of it. Because we've got loads of rock chunks. This is a great idea. If we can just make as much glass as we need with rock chunks, that seems pretty ecologically friendly. And then we throw down, what, like, our oh, windows? Windows is glass and steel. Also doors. Glass also doors feels a bit more... Feels a bit more of a utopia futuristic style colony. And then we fill it with all these many, many plants and fancy looking ponds and stuff. Potted house plants. See? Look at this. This is going to look amazing. Harmony with nature. Just throw some flowers on the machining bench. That looks good. Let's put some on the uh, on the fabrication bench too. No, no. We're not ready. Three desperate refugees are approaching. Their leader is called Polpob. They say that their caravan was ambushed and everything was taken. They need to stay here for 15 days. Okay. Fine. All right. Join us then. Polpob, Dougie, and Animal. They, I mean, look, they're not beholden to our rules, technically. But I am still going to treat them as they are. I'm still going to make sure that they're not out there fighting people, killing people. I guess we'll make some more tasers then, or some sort of non-lethal weapon. <laughs> I love the flowers. <laughs> so fucking stupid, isn't it? Harmony with nature's, and we just throw some petunias up in the, uh, in the machining room. That's just amazing. I'm going to put the comms console over here instead. And I'm going to put down another smelter. If these people are here to help for a few days, we might as well get what we can out of them. No, I don't want to summon a Diabolus. I don't care how many times you ask. We're going to have to grow some food then, aren't we? Uh, forget about the cotton. Let's go for... Oh, I bought loads of pineapples. That's right. Pine... Shit. We don't know how to plant pineapples. Oh, okay. Pineapple. What does that count as? Wild biome plants. There we go. Oh, shit. We need agriculture three first as well. Surely you can reverse engineer that, though. Right? Surely you can just use the seeds or something like that. Um, milking steak but alive. Yeah, no, after you've done, though, uh, these people might start starving. I mean, no pressure. Making taser gun. Okay, I mean, to be fair, yeah, fine. We've got food to last them a little while. Just casually two masterwork and excellent tasers. That's fine. Here you go. Thank you. Now you're truly part of the colony. Is there a downside to throw an electric stove in here? Not really. I mean, it works be penalty because of bad temperature, but Plato is not going to care about that. I mean, it will obviously care about the works be penalty. I'm saying that he's not going to care about the temperature. He's a robot. He's a robot who doesn't think. We're going to need a recreation room. We're going to need a dining room or something like that. Let's move these stone cutters tables into here. I guess in this top section couldn't hurt. A little science experiment to try, right? We've got these, these dryads constantly wandering. Galbret makers, medicine makers. What if we just tame them? What if we just, will they just hang around the colony? We haven't got to worry about Asimov tending the, the Garanan tree. Speaking of which, oh, team failed 56% chance. These kind of independent dryads. Oh God. Are these uh, <laughs> independent dryads would be an amazing way to get a little bit of extra stuff well, in, in effectively an unlimited way, right? And right on cue, unlimited herbal medicine as long as we keep the damn thing alive and fed. At long last, robot. ID193. Now, it's reduce, reduce resistance, then recruit, right? So we should get you instantly? What what kind of reduce resistance was that shit? Reduce resistance before, recruit after. <laughs> okay, good work, Asimov. Well done. What are you doing? Oh, look, he's out there analyzing with his... What, what are you doing to that pineapple? Am I allowed to show this on YouTube? They're working out how to make dinner for our guests with his robo Venus. His ro 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 Venus. Oh... <laughs> you know what? However you decide to invent meals for people is your business. That's nothing to do with me. Is that going up like decently fast? 404? And now we're up to uh, 340. It's not massively fast, but it's it's pretty good. Hey, ID 193. Hello. Another colonist. Now, unlike uh, unlike Plato Descartes, ID 193 does count as 
uh, d does count as uh, a sentient creature with a mood and and uh, a recreation bar. Thought to finish things off today, I'd go through quickly and spruce a few things up. I realized we had hedges, you know, long after I built the fences, so I stuck some of these down. I think it looks a little nicer now. It's not quite as green as I'd like. The glasses look cool though, don't they? The the glasses. What's the word for that? Windows. The windows look good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign. That's a sign I think we're done for today. Damn, that house has got nice glasses, eh? Wow. Thank you for joining me today on the preparation for space robots. We'll build a big greenhouse tomorrow. We'll see if we'll see what plants we've got. It might actually genuinely be us growing a shitload of pineapples to get to space with. Have we not done something similar before? I think we use bees to make chocolate to get to the moon. <laughs> I don't know. It's all the same. I've been uploading the same video every day for the past five years, and no one's noticed. Thank you to Lithabreaker, Ithronel, Sleepy257, Asinakurito, Velocity, Mithra, Noah, But I'm Homeless, Sao Chung Tai, Pooza McPoozington, Dexter Lowe, Banjo Slurp, Juicada, Patrick Paulia, Mika, Cracker Daka, Anthony Frackenthal, Sakari, Luna Wolf, Master of Worlds 22, Eric, George, Tapscott, Urban Cohort, Drunk Binary, King Snitch Gaming, Dart, and Dead Degrees as well for their support over on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Hope you're enjoying Friendly Robots. And I do mean that sincerely. Loads of people are still very skeptical. We are absolutely going to be the nice guys for once. It's a little bit boring. Every series, it loses its edge a little bit to be the objective, pure evil bad guys. So we're going to take a break. But we will definitely do that next time. <laughs> Thank you to Scoobs, Bencore, Bladed Badge, Koi, Malaise Mona, Black Magic, Scott Dockery, Prismo, ADD, Ape, Pika Yune, Juicebox, Mountain Cadalbe, Saxon Cat, Twinkle Rock, Cascara, Mini, Punkish Bear, Dre, Dre, Deck Crepid, Fantastica, What Would Stalin Do, Mr. Yeti, Fane, James Earl, Callum James 3, Dan, Romario, Sam S, Jacob, H, Cafo and Tom Smith. Thank you.